Good evening and welcome back to today's edition of the Telescope Makers Workshop. My name is Francis O'Reilly and tonight we're going to be discussing uh, further polishing of an optical flat. In our last adventure we polished for about 15 minutes with the optical flat on top. When I was done I finished the job off by placing the flat on top of a piece of wax paper that was covering the pitch lap. I'm now going to remove it, which I can't do, I'm stuck together. And I was going to resume polishing with the tool on top. Flip the whole mess over. Clamp down, remove some of the newspaper, and remove the flat, or the pitch lap rather, from the flat. Wax paper <clears throat> the wax paper will need to be replaced. I'm now going to wet down the flap, wet down the pitch lap a little bit. Once a day, you put some polishing compound, and now I'm ready to go. I like to go for as long as a half hour like this if I wanted to, and I might be so inclined. It's now 9:10. And when I do this, I just resume polishing as I had with the flat on top, only this time I have the pitch lap on top. Back and forth, it's been in perfect contact all day for the last 24 hours since I stopped last night. Three strokes. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Then I rotate it counterclockwise a small amount, take a step clockwise a small amount, present different radii to be polished, and keep going. Now as you will recall, when you're working with the tool or the pitch lap on top, you're working the edges. When you work with the optic on top, you're working the center. So right now, this is a convexing stroke. And also, I don't go off center. I don't go in all sorts of different directions. I just go center over center, one-third strokes, and you'll notice also, when we all do this, because of parallax and the manner in which we're viewing what we're doing, that when I push forward, I'm going further than when I pull back. It's a very common problem that telescope makers have. And it just has to do with the limitations of what you see and how your mind and your hands and your eyes all interact. <clears throat> 